everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Tonight we have a very lovely guest coming on with me, my girl Alexa Tapia, all the way from California, my fellow badass do-gooder, and I cannot wait for her to come on and share her story and what inspires her to help others. So just waiting for people to come on and once Alexa is on, request to join in and we will get started. Rich Fit, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We are just waiting for some people to come on and waiting for Alexa to join in. Here she is. Alexa, request to join and we'll get started. Here she is. Hi, Zoe. We are bringing Alexa on. Hi, welcome. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Wait for Alexa. Hi. Michelle. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Doing so good. How are you? I'm good. You look so pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you. As do you. I, I love thank your you. shirt. Oh, thank you. I like the dial up for my lives. Yes. <laughs> Same here. I love dressing up. So any opportunity. I was like, do I want to wear a sweat, like a sweatshirt or do I want Because I, I was like, I was going to wear a sweatshirt. And I was like, she comes on looking all cute like you are now. I was like, I'm going to look <laughs> stupid. So I was like, everybody. no, no, you always look great. I love comfort oh. too. Like I love dressing up but sometimes or mostly i prefer the comfort well, so i'm like i'll just do my very, makeup this is super soft so i'm like it's like a combination of fancy and comfort at the same time so good, um, good. hi alex hi hannah welcome everyone oh hello everyone i see some of my hi. friends some of my oh. clients in here hello everyone yes thank you all for joining us Thank you guys. Thank you guys. This should be exciting. Yes, I'm su I've been super excited for this. I've been excited too. You know, at first I was honestly like a little bit nervous. Oh, that's normal. <laughs> and had like tiny amounts of like anxiety. Oh, and I think we talked about this before, but you know, it's just it's just a part of just doing what scares you, right? Doing what scares you and then it's for... not even all the time for good things bad things i'm like exciting things i'm like why am i nervous like calm down yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what i had to do today i was talking to a friend and i was like you know what i'm a little bit nervous and then i was like no i have to change my mindset i'm excited i'm excited yes, for this exactly. i'm excited there's a happy Hi, Gigi. Nervous. yes it was You're like welcome. a happy nervous yes. I'm just going to wait for, uh, it looks like a lot of people are joining on at once. So I'm going to just yes, wait. Yes, I see minutes. my sister, a few friends. Are you drinking wine? Oh, never mind. <laughs> you're, being, you're being good. I was like about to say cheers. But... <laughs> cheers uh, with alkaline cheers. water. Cheers. Hi, Gordon. <laughs> Hi. Welcome, Jeanette. Hello. How's Hi, everyone Jean. doing today? How was everyone's Christmas? I hope it was okay. It was fun. It was a different year yeah this year definitely. but i guess i'm hoping hopefully um everyone made the best out of it so yes that's all we How can hope for it was amazing it was amazing um i got to get with my family at my mom's house which is kind of like our tradition um we love going to my mom's house but it was really beautiful this year because a few of my aunts were able to join us and it was like my cousins were able to join us as well it was a small group but it was just nice to be able to see them after not being able to see them for for a while yeah so it was really nice we enjoyed ourselves um we play a lot of games during That's christmas yeah we play a lot of games so we were just having the time of our lives good good oh, i see more of my friends hello everyone welcome friends hello oh hello everyone it makes me so excited to see yeah my friends joining in Definitely. thank you guys for your support i guess we can start if you like yeah 
Yeah, my sister is right. Our games do get competitive. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, my family and I, we play this game called Nerds. It's, um, it's a card game, and it's like almost like a fast solitaire. And it's super fun. Like, we all stand around the table, and we just, like, like I said, it's just like a really fast solitaire, and we just have to, like, slap and, like, try to beat someone. Like, if someone puts a two down, that we have to, like, automatically, go, like, go. And we'll, like, start, like, yelling at each other, calling each other, um, you know, cheaters. Because I'm saying that <laughs> because my cousin's on, and she calls me a cheater. And she's just a hater, but I love you anyway, Hen. Oh, my gosh. That's um, so funny. But, yeah, I love games. It's, like, our favorite thing to do. Same, same to us. We love playing. Like my sister said, we get competitive. We play this game where we wrap a bunch of gifts and then we have two dice going around. So it's like on the opposite side of the room. And then so first, you know, if you get matching dice, um, you pick up a gift. And then after all the gifts are gone, um, then you get to steal on the second round. So we were going crazy for the SpongeBob socks this year because my sister is a huge SpongeBob lover. And everybody was just fighting for all the SpongeBob stuff. So, that's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, my cousin just said that's because you cheat. Yeah, okay, too. <laughs> real funny. Um, well, that's amazing. I'm glad you had a great Christmas. Good. Yeah, it was very well spent. Good, good. So, hello, everyone nice else who is joining. Hello, on. welcome. So, we'll get started. And then, um, I always save my live so whoever can join or joins late. Um, they can just go back to my page and watch at any time. Hi, Dante. Welcome. That's good. Um, so, Alexa, just, um, I want to start off with just, like, talk about your backstory and, mm -hmm. um, like, growing up. And, mm -hmm. and then we'll lead into, like, what you do now. Like, what inspired you to want to help others. And then we'll get to the exciting news at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. It's, it's very cool. Um, I was thinking about this. And it's very cool how my beauty and wellness journey kind of started at the same time in my life. Um, I was a very young, um, first of all, I can start with a little bit of uh, the beauty and then lead into fitness and, and how I got all that moving. So I was, um, I would say I was lucky enough to have this opportunity, but I got to experience working at a very young age. Um, and not a lot of people know this about me, but I was only seven years old when I started working, which oh to some, they might be like child labor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people might be like child labor, but actually... Oh, um, hi, Steve. Hi, Chris. Hi, hi, Steve. Um, it was actually nice. Like, I loved working, and I loved working because it was with my mom and my sister and it was to build my mom's business. My mom, um, she was a single mom ever since I was four years old. So, um, and she was an immigrant. So she just really had to, you know, find opportunity here. And she really did. She took oh as many opportunities as she could. And she, she trained us well. She, she, uh, she trained me and my sister. Well, we actually got started by looking at my mom. Like my mom is this glamorous, beautiful lady, like the most beautiful lady, big heart. Um, and she, she ran a glamor business. So I was a hairstylist, my sister was a makeup artist and my mom was a photographer. And it was amazing because we, it wasn't child labor. Like we love doing this. We love <laughs> doing. We love doing our own hair. Like we love doing other people's hair, other people's mm -hmm. makeup, making them feel beautiful. Um, my mom was always very good at, at talking to people and communicating with them and just making them feel beautiful through the experience. So really, our work was like this experience. It was like this yeah. transformation on the outside, but it ended up like also turning to an inside transformation like people would leave and just feel so confident and and we love that like we really loved being a part of that um like i said it never was exhausting um yeah my sister said my mom's been a cosmetologist since she was 13 in mexico that's where she learned so my mom taught us her that's skills amazing. yeah yeah she she's really amazing that's not the only talent that she had but um, definitely that's the one that got us started into the beauty industry, which is beautiful. Um, and until this day, I still practice with my sister. My sister has her own beauty business. I help her out, I help my, my mom out. So it's definitely like still a side hustle that I have right. and that I'm really proud of because I absolutely love like just 
do my hair and makeup. Um, and boosting, but also, yeah, people's confidence, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and we got to see um, and fall in love with makeup in a different way. Like for us, it was more of like a beauty enhancer. Like we knew people were beautiful. We knew they like they had, nice, you know, good hearts and and getting to just transform them and show them like a different you know like a perspective or different side you know, hey, yeah different side of it um was very beautiful to see so definitely um that's sort of how I got into the beauty industry and um as for fitness I my mom was also a, a ballerina so she, that was another Aww. thing that she studied in Mexico so she introduced me to ballet when I was only five years old I love led... ballet. I used to do that all the time. Yeah, I still every once in a while I'll walk around and I'll just like point my toe and like get on there just to be like, can I still do it? And yeah. I do, but I was like, I still got it. I love it. Yeah, no, it's so it's fun. amazing. It's so fun. It's so fun. And that really made me fall in love with dance. And then so that led me to doing other types of dances. I did um, hula dancing after that. And then I did oh florico dancing. What's and that? It, it's what, what was that what uh, what was that last one dance oh it's like a traditional mexican style of dance with like the big dresses where you like spin them around oh, i'm not sure cool. if you've seen them i think i i don't know the name but yeah i've seen them that's really cool yes yes yeah. so i got into that and then i got into hip-hop and then so that led me to really uh wanting to just explore dance more so mm -hmm. i would say that thanks to my mom i've been a leader as well um, kind of seeing her be this entrepreneur, you know, um, go after opportunities, you know, have so many different types of jobs. Um, like it really inspired me to want to do the same. So I would get into all of my talent shows in my school and I would choreograph all my dances. So every single year of my school, I choreographed our own dance. I had my friends join me and we would just perform. And I absolutely love it. And I still love dance, but it's one of those things that I kind of stopped doing, but I still do it for fun now. I do it for fun. And also growing up, I played basketball. I think my friend David is here. David, he um, is actually the one who got me into basketball. We would play, I lived right in front of the basketball court. So oh, it was just so it fun. It was like right in your face. Of course you had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was there. It was like calling my name. Um, it was amazing. My sister played as well. My brother, we all played together. Basically, my childhood was go to school in the morning, come back home, do my homework, do my chores, because we had to do our chores, and then go outside and play. Yeah. And then on the weekends, that's when we would go and we would work with my mom. And we would work the whole weekend. We would travel to Vegas. We would throw these glamour parties in Vegas and oh. LA, like literally everywhere. We would go everywhere um, with my mom. And that was sort of like my childhood. Like I love to play. I love to, <laughs> I love to, to uh, work and um, socialize with my friends, but also obviously into school. And so I would definitely say that that's where my fitness journey started. However, I didn't get into wellness until I was in college. So this is another, <laughs> this is another um, story, but I went, when I was going into school, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I knew I was a leader. Um, I had so many different types of jobs before, like I even went to college because I'm telling you my mom, she, I worked with her for many, many years since I was seven. So I got to experience so many different types of jobs. Like I just went out there, like she showed me how to be um, a photographer because she was a photographer. So when I was like in ninth grade, I, I helped the family run a whole photography studio. Like they would work in the mornings and they would leave me to run the business at night. So I was like this, like, I definitely see myself as a leader. And so I would like run this business. And as your and sister I would... said, hustler. Yes, we're hustlers. Yeah, my mom really taught us how to work for everything that we want. And I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to say that and be able to say that. And so is my sister. Um, but 
I worked at so many different types of jobs. After that, I worked at restaurants, and then I was a recreational leader for the for a city that I lived in. So I had my own classroom of students. I really thought I was going to be a teacher or a leader of some sort, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. And going into college, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Right, and I thought that I wanted this position, right? I wanted to be a creative director. I was like, okay, this is gonna be, you know, uh, if I'm gonna go for creative or for, for to, to express my creativity and artistry, um, I'm gonna go for the highest position, right? I think my mentality back then was, I want the highest paying job. Mm -hmm. So what is that? Okay, that's creative director. Okay, I want that job. I wanna be at the top. I always knew I wanted to be my own boss. Um, so I was like, okay, see, you know, right next to the CEO, creative director, like, that's what I want. I want to make um, money to be able to support my family and, and all these things. So I thought I really wanted to be a creative director. However, I really had to go through so many different struggles. I went through even neglecting myself and putting myself in situations that didn't serve me or getting into trouble or just you know doing all the college things <laughs> and I would definitely say that I had to fall back and I had to fall back hard um, and I went through college and I was good at what I was doing and I finished school and then you know getting into internships and everything I just found myself so unhappy I found myself so unhappy um, and that's where it kind of all started, right? I started neglecting my health. Um, I stopped dancing. I stopped, well, I would dance when I would go out, but um, I stopped dancing for, you know, other reasons. I wouldn't exercise. I was not eating healthy. Um, you know, we, I'm Mexican, so we had just this traditional Mexican, you know, food that we would eat you know it was like whatever we had at home was what we ate and so I wasn't used to like eating healthy so I just really had to lose myself and be very unhealthy and go through so many hardships for me to be like yo my health matters yeah. you know like hey I'm important hey I matter you know and that's when I started getting into wellness I started um mentally challenging myself. I had this gym when I was in uh, college that is actually how I started my fitness journey again. You know, it was like, again, I started it again. I had this mentor who owned, or he was a part of um, this nonprofit organization where I was a server. Okay. And he quit that job to start his own gym. And I was one of the founding members of his gym. So I was really there from the time that he opened to the time that he closed his gym. Um, and it was such a beautiful, beautiful experience. I think before that my mentality was, I was uh, like, I had gym intimidation. So I was intimidated by the gym. I, I didn't want to look bulky. I would say like, I didn't want to look bulky like a guy or I didn't want to be buff. Um, so that's actually going back to my basketball story that's actually why I stopped playing basketball was like I don't want to get super manly like a guy I don't know why that was my mentality but it was and so going into this gym my mentor he would um, mentally and physically challenge us like I had to do oh hi Louis I had to do so many things that I was scared of I was so scared of weights <laughs> I was scared of you know, certain movements, there were certain workouts that, that he would do that I, I mentally would be like, oh, no, I can't do that. Oh, no, I can't do that. And so it wasn't until I did it that I was like, oh, I could do this. Oh, okay, I could do this. The more and you it tell wasn't... yourself you can't do something, the more you, it just becomes true. And you just got to, like, get that out of your head. Like, 100%. we all do that. Yeah, it's like our first instinct, right? Our mind is just trying to protect us yeah, from if it's anything like and everything. Comfort zone, or if it looks hard, or it's like, oh, I don't know. But, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. And so I was like that before. I, I would hardly go to the gym. Like I loved being outside, but I would hardly go to the gym. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. 
you know like how am I supposed to get fifth I don't even know what I'm doing or I'd be intimidated and I really had to change my mindset and that's where oh my sister said changing your mindset yeah, definitely. definitely I really that. had to change my mindset like I had to tell myself like I had to be really sick and tired of my own shit that I wanted to change, right? I was like, oh my, I can't wear crop tops. Like, I, <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I feel bad. Like, I'm breaking out and, you know, I don't feel good. I, I, I even started getting very depressed, right? Because, um, because I wasn't happy in what I was studying and what I was doing. It was like, I was good at it, but I didn't like it. And I wasn't happy and I didn't find passion in it. And, and that gym really mentally and physically challenged me like if it wasn't for Alex I don't know where I'd be but definitely he's the one who gave me that inspiration who gave me that push to to mentally and physically challenge myself and then after I graduated uh you know trying to get internships working at this internship not being happy going over here going over there not being happy it's like doing the work but not being fulfilled and just mm -hmm. um like I got to a very dark place because I graduated and I didn't want to do what I studied anymore. And there was a moment where I would, you know, look through social media and then I would see my friends, you know, they had the position already. They had the career set, they had this, they had that, and I didn't. And so naturally, you know, I was comparing myself and I, did I pull myself down, to be honest with you? And we all do that, too. We all compare ourselves to, like, oh, this person looks like they have it together. Or why do they have a house? Why are they married? Why are they having kids? What am I doing wrong? And it's like, mm -hmm. but you know what? Like, everyone has their own journey. And For it, sure. you can't rush things like that. No, definitely. And I think it was, like, I had to take a huge step back. Mm -hmm. And then I had to tell myself, I had to talk to myself, right? <laughs> I had to talk to myself and 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 I think it was in a time where I was depressed, you know, I graduated college and I'm like, I don't have the job that I that I'm supposed to have yet. Um and I got in a very dark place. Very dark place to where I it's hard to say this, but I was battling, you know, my demons. And when I say demons, I don't just mean like internal demons. Like, this is very scary to say out loud, but I was seeing demons. Like, I was getting sleeping paralysis. I was, you know, experiencing like really bad things to where I was confronted with demons, you know. So my spirituality was challenged. You know, it was definitely challenged. And that's where I started getting more spiritually, you know, inclined. And I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to get deeper into that. So that's when, when I left college and I came back, I no longer had that gym, right, where, mm -hmm. where I would leave everything and get stronger and get fit and just challenge myself and I no longer had that here so not having everything I was going through some stuff <laughs> to say the least and it was then where I remembered um which this is also thanks to my mom my mom put me and my sister in and try to get my brother into it too, into personal development. So personal development was always also a part of my life. Um, oh, thanks, Sergio, you're the best. Um, um, so I had to, I had to, sorry, I lost my train of thought because I was like reading these messages. No, it's okay. I'm so grateful for. Um, I had to really pull myself out of it, right? I had to talk to myself, I had to tell myself, you know, it's okay. If you don't want to do this, it's okay. You know, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, my mom put me into personal development. So then I just started getting back into it. You know, I started getting back into personal development and there was this conference that I attended that, you know, I had this vision then after I started working on myself more and more mm -hmm. and more. 
and I had this whole vision. I'm like, you know what? I don't have Alex's gym anymore. I don't have Tribe. Tribe was the name of the gym. I don't have Tribe anymore. You know, I don't have this. I don't have that. But this is what I want. And then I just started becoming so passionate about it. And I started just taking care of myself more and more. And and I started falling in love with it. And I was like, wow this is insane like I started changing my mindset you know I completely changed my diet like completely started you know eliminating all of the foods that did not serve me and started implementing all the foods and and all the strategies in order to get well and better and um and I did and I got so much I got so much more love for myself I got a deeper understanding of myself I had a you know, I just, my intuition and everything, it just started lighting up. And it was then where I knew that I loved wellness and I wanted to dedicate my whole entire life. And my purpose was not only to take care of myself, my overall wellness, like mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, nutritional health, but also help other people do the same. Because if I knew that I was in that dark place and being so blessed in my life, then I could only imagine how many more people were probably going through the same stuff. So I decided to create my own community. <laughs> so um, I remember going to this personal development conference with one of my best friends, Erin. And I just, I had this whole vision before, but I didn't know how I was going to execute. And I didn't know... Um, how I was going to do it, right? A big part of me was always a perfectionist, right? I'm mm -hmm. like, I want to do everything and I want to do it perfect. Yeah. And I, I had this whole vision. So I'm very creative and I've always been very creative. So I had this whole vision just to everything coming out of my mind. And then I just started the whole entire conference. I heard the words, all in like I already know that that's what I wanted my community to be called all in I heard that name a kid you know, 15 times in that personal development conference and I just had the biggest breakthrough I was like this is it it's a sign that's what it was and I didn't pre-plan I didn't get the name from them I already had an idea of what I wanted to create because I didn't have the community that I had before at the gym so I knew I was like I want to create this for myself or I want to create a community myself um just like Alex did and so I was like this is it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it and um one thing that I love about myself is that I'm a risk taker, so I was like, I'm going to learn along the way. <laughs> like, I don't need to know it all. Before, I thought I need to know it all. Um, but then I was like, I'm going to learn along the way. You know, I already know this much about fitness. I've already been mentally challenging myself. I already be this and this and that. Like, I'm going to learn along the way. We so, learn more from life experiences. Definitely. Yeah definitely and I can say my whole journey with it has been trial and error mm -hmm. like you can tell my girls like trial and error like from the beginning you know but I have such a supportive and loving family that you know especially my mom like even even though oh, <laughs> I was uh, reading messages Katarina it's my girl Katarina uh, okay. yeah even though <clears throat> even though I didn't pursue what I went to school for um I was much happier and my mom knew that like even if I was struggling like my mom was like I am so proud of you I am so this I am so that my sister you know my number one client from the beginning love you G and um you know my brother and everyone like is just so supportive of me and everything that I want to do so I'm super super thankful oh, for them support is so necessary it really Without is. Support, I don't even know where I would be. So support is just everywhere. And so, so grateful. I yes, it. yes, definitely. And it was pretty cool how it started. I kind of just started it as a project in at the park. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to invite all my friends, you know, see who shows up. Let's go. And um, yeah, and then 
a month after I expanded out into a gym, which was a, a friend also gave me the opportunity to to work at, at their gym. And, and then after that, it's just been expanding and expanding and growing and growing. And I am learning along the way. And I'm on this wellness journey, not only for myself, but with my clients. And oh, thanks, Anthony. Um, That's sweet. <laughs> thank you. And to be honest with you, like wellness is a journey, you know, it's not a one stop shop. It's not one time thing. It's, it's a continuous and consistent working and challenging. And, you know, I can definitely say like there were, were things I knew I had to work on and then I would work on them and I'm like, oh, another list of things pops up, right? Yeah. <laughs> another <laughs> list of things that we got to work on pops up. So definitely that's how it's been. It's been uh, an amazing journey. And then after that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get more into it, you know? And then I, you know, got more into nutrition and more into personal training. I'm like, okay, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, is, um, cause I would, I would help groups, but then I also started helping people individually. And then it was just so amazing being able to help you know clients and i think that's definitely where i get my fulfillment because i've always known that one i want to help people that's my purpose i've known that from the start because i was like i want to be a teacher um two i've always loved being a leader you know so the fact that um that people wanted to 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 join you know and 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 just to see people's transformations and mm -hmm. and and just creating a community of people who just who just want to get well, you know. It, it was just so amazing to create. And and yeah, so now it's it's my whole brand and I am so proud of it and And it's all in underscore boot camp, right? Oh, I changed it. So it was boot camp and now I changed it to wellness because that's wellness what it is. It's a wellness boot camp and then so like I said, it's all been trial and error, right? And so I had some people tell me, oh my gosh, when I heard the word boot camp, I was scared. They were scared. And I'm yeah, like, I would be oh, scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm so nice. And then people know this, like when they would join my classes or when they would come in person trainings, they would be like, oh, thank you, G. Um, yeah, everyone's well, hype woman. People, by the way. I know, hello everyone. Mm -hmm. So, so then, um, <laughs> so then, when when people would show up they're like oh but you're so nice you're actually helpful i thought you were gonna be screaming at me and i thought you were gonna be like drop down and give me 10 you know i was just gonna say that <laughs> <laughs> yeah and people I are like, like wellness better though yes better. yeah because that's what it is overall it like seems it's more like, like comforting that word's more comforting definitely and i think it describes the boot camp or the community very well because like I said, it's not phys it's not only physical training. Yes, we do workout. I do guided workouts, but we also do breathing exercises. We do mindfulness work. We do meditations. We do just different challenges. Um, and we, I made it specific to women. So that's another thing that I am very proud of. <laughs> you should be. Because I want to help women specifically because of the things that I went through, right? Like I said, mm -hmm. I was intimidated by guys and their huge muscles and their weights and their heavy weights. And, mm -hmm. you know, I want to create in a, a, well, I am creating a space where women are comfortable, where they feel like they can speak up if they need help and they don't feel like they're competing against each other. Like I always make sure my girls feel good when they're doing the workouts, when they're doing the stretches, when we're doing anything. Like I always ask them like, how are you guys doing? You know? And I think it's been, it's been the most efficient for me that way because uh, I know that when I was in tribe, I loved the guys there but like, I always kind of just wanted this community of women. Like, I just want this like sisterhood as well. Like, I just want to be able to uh, create more relationships with women as well as just get, <clears throat> get into furthering understanding 
woman, right? Um, they do say that it's so much easier for a guy to lose weight. It's so much easier for a guy to gain muscle. And it's so much harder for a woman because we store more fat, you know? We need to bear children. So definitely making it specifically for women has been so, so amazing because we could get into the emotional stuff. We could share more of ourselves, but also we can all get strong together and healthy. And I... Um, I'm just so proud of my clients too. So shout out to everyone who's in here that is in my class and in my community of women. I love you guys all. And yeah, so that's basically kind of how I got into everything, how I got into, into not only working my ass off as a child, <laughs> but how- Working your ass off as an adult as well. <laughs> yeah, working my ass off as an adult as well, you know, creating, you know, what I believe in, and also, um, also following, I would say following like the footsteps of my mom, you know, like I said, she was my biggest She's role model. She was my inspiration. Are you kidding me? My mom is like the most talented woman. She was not only a dancer, she was a makeup artist, hairstylist, cosmetologist. She was a photographer. She did energy healing. She was a um, One of she was a pastry girls. chef. She's still a pastry chef, but now she switched over to nutritional sweets. So it's amazing. Like just the impact I could even have on her. It is so amazing. I love it. And um, she was, uh, she was, she would make jewelry. She would do it all. Like my mom was a go-getter. She was this risk taker. She's just this super amazing, inspirational woman, also super loving so I definitely and clearly uh, you you rub, she rubbed off on you and your sister. I'm she sure. did, yeah, she did. We have huge hearts, and um, and we just love, like I said, everything we do, we we love doing, which I think is the best thing because yeah. before I can truly say I wasn't happy, you, you know. Have to love what you're doing. You can't, you know. I when people tell me all the time, you know, sometimes you just have to do this because it's, you know, no, I don't have to just do it. You know, just like stay at a job because it's I'm making this amount of money or I'm getting benefits. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not getting th anything out of it, then what am I really getting? I'm not getting anything. Like, why am I staying in a situation where I'm not get feeling passion from it and purpose? I can relate to that so much because, My like I said, parents do that to me all the time. They're like, "Well, you don't want to do quit your job for this because you know you have oh my gosh. the money." I'm like, "But do I have the happiness?" You know, everything else comes after, but I think the happiness is the first, is the key in everything. Mm -hmm. 100%. And that is so relatable to even my situation. Like I said, I tried so many different types of jobs. And one of the biggest things for me was environment, mm -hmm. right? Building my environment, even for where I live. I've moved so much. I moved so much. I moved around everywhere. Um, but also, um, even in my work environment, like I would say for example I didn't like the environment or I was very like I was very intuitive in that sense where like if something was up or I just didn't like it or if I knew it was too toxic I didn't want to waste my energy there I didn't want to I don't want to say west I, I would I wouldn't want to spend my energy on that and so I would leave jobs yeah. and then I would just go apply for other ones and I would get it you know you have to come with your gut I mean, your gut is is your truth. I mean, you have to go with it. You have to yeah. um, listen to your intuition in, or your intuitions. Mm -hmm. And there has been many times where, or mostly just uh, a few times where I didn't listen to my intuition, and it went to uh, it went to crap. <laughs> it went to shit. Yeah. To be honest, oh, it I went really bad. It was, you know. It was like in friendships or relationships, you know, I would kind of just fight my intuition because I thought I wanted something and then think, it ended up worse for me. <laughs> yeah. So definitely, definitely now I'm like intuition. I'm so sorry. I did not listen to you. Mm -hmm. I love you and I trust you. And, you know, let's let's do this. Let's get through life. Um, it's a journey. So definitely have learned from so many mistakes, from so many trial and errors. Our struggles uh, shape us. Definitely. 
Yes, definitely. And I think I was very nervous to come on because like I mentioned, I don't share a lot of my personal life on social yeah. media, you know. I don't. So even well, me saying I'm all this to lie, I didn't either. So <laughs> I know and then this year I was like with everything that happened, I was like you know what? Like I want to share more of myself and I want to do the stuff that makes me scared. Um, and you connect with because other, that's with how we're gonna grow. That way too, and you then you you resonate with other people and just know like you're not the only one that was going through it. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true, and um, yeah. So I'm really like I feel good right now. <laughs> I feel you're good. So proud of yourself. Yeah, yeah. I feel so good, and I'm very happy that I listened to my intuition and that I took a risk. You know. Even if it was like starting from the bottom, yeah. you know, and then, you that know, work, I'm working my way up. It's not, I'm not where I want to be. So I'm not going to say I'm fully content or happy of where I am. There's so many other things I want to accomplish. There's so many other things. But you're things. working on it. And yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You know, this year I told myself I want to get uh, yoga certified. And this is all <clears throat> to build, um, my dream which is to build wellness centers so all of the skills that i'm learning it's all gonna go into building those wellness centers that i so badly want <laughs> well I, i'm sure it's gonna happen for you, you just gotta keep yes keep doing what you're doing you're gonna get there yes thank up. you thank you thank you i appreciate that i appreciate your support thank you everyone who's, who's logging on and, and Welcome giving me so much love um oh the lighting um, so since we have a few minutes left, um, do you want to share your exciting news? Yes. Okay. So I was going to wait till tomorrow, but <laughs> I want to do it do now. Do you want to wait till tomorrow? Or? No, no. Okay. I want to do it now. <laughs> Good. Good. I love you too, Amaris. Um, so I am starting this 21 day wellness challenge and I want to invite 21 committed women. Okay. This is going to be a free challenge that I am going to do that. I'm going to guide and we are going to do all types of work. It's going to be, like I said, mental, spiritual, um, we're going to do physical training. I'm going to be giving you guys free workouts, guided workouts. And so, um, and nutritional advice as well. We're going to do some things like leave behind some processed food, no junk food, no alcohol, no... Okay, no... I'm sorry, I can't go through part of that. <laughs> you can do it, Michelle. No alcohol it's on only account. 21 days. You know, they do say it takes 21 days to Let build a habit. Let me get it all in now. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> get it all in now. Leave it all behind in 2020. No, but really, this is just going to be a way to start the year strong. So we're going to be doing some mindfulness work. Yes, let's go, girls. Let's do it. Um, we're going to be doing mindfulness work. We're going to be doing just uh, mental preparations for the morning. We're going to get some, some plan to action. We're going to get um, some journaling. We're going we're gonna to do all sorts of things That's in order to get crazy. well. Hi, Seek. She made it. Okay. Hello, hello. Seek is a badass. She and is we a love queen her. badass. She is the badass. She started the badass club. <laughs> He's amazing. Yes, yes, she is. But yeah, That's so we're awesome. doing this wellness challenge and I want to make it free and accessible yeah. to whoever so is. So is it like your link in your bio or do they have to DM you for information? Yeah, like so, yeah so it's actually going to be super simple. It's going to be just uh, sending me your name, your email. Uh, your Instagram handle and your number because this is going to be an accountability not only that but I am giving away some some good stuff okay I'm going to be giving away interchangeable weights like 40 pounds interchangeable weights because I know right now it's hard to get weights you know or even with the gyms being closed um, I'm going to do a free month of personal training as well as a gift card to Whole Foods so that should be fun and exciting and like I said, this is this is only to start the year off strong and well. So I am truly just excited for it. And I will be posting more about it tomorrow <clears throat> on the All In Wellness page. Perfect. And so, I will share that for you. Yeah, that'd be sweet. 
Yeah, so like I said, 21 committed women. I want to do this and I want us to all just start the year off strong. And um, I know anyone can benefit from it. And then there will also be more wellness challenges coming on after that. I just wanted this to be free and accessible. Nice kickoff to, to the year. That's a good idea. Yes, yes. This year was a little too crazy for everyone. A little too crazy to say the yeah. least. Yeah, so definitely I want to leave all that behind and just start the year off strong and then continue because like I said, it's wellness is not a one-time thing. Wellness yeah. is, is consistent it's work. Lifestyle. It's a lifestyle change, you know? Mm -hmm. So definitely learning all the things and putting them to use and staying consistent is is how we're gonna how we're gonna make it how are we gonna get well i think i have a question in the yes box. i've never had that I, I have more time by the way oh it's a bit. when yeah. are we doing our vision boards oh okay that's another exciting thing i so we are going to be doing i'm going to be hosting a vision board party because you know we got to manifest all of the things that we want for the new year so i definitely want to get together this is going to be more open so mm -hmm. this as many people as they want to come uh, i'm doing it virtually so we'll have a zoom party you know it's going to be very simple get your boards get get your your favorite not your favorite magazines but the things that you want you know so yeah melissa if you want you can add your wine at home but <laughs> we're lucky this is going to be before the challenge okay so you can definitely have your wine and then after that we're giving it up for 21 days <laughs> okay let me get let me get more in hold on yeah get, get your, cheers <laughs> michelle this has been pleasant it's been amazing <laughs> that's awesome i'm so happy for you thank you you definitely are an inspiration i'm sure you're helping so many women and there's gonna be many more that you're gonna help so like yes. I said, just keep doing what you're doing don't give up you're on the right path and again str our struggles shape us to become yeah. the best version of ourselves so just 100 percent. yeah yeah definitely definitely i'm so blessed to be able to help so many people um, you know, like I said, not only the girls in the community, but all my clients have been doing so well, which, like I said, it really fulfills me. It makes me happy because we we can all do it. You know, I know yeah. that sometimes we don't have the proper guidance or we don't know what yeah. we're doing. But yes, see, yes, yes. But, you know, if anyone out there is just looking for some guidance, you don't know where to start. <laughs> my mom was calling me uh, and so um yeah like I said if uh if anyone is looking for any guidance and thank you Melissa love you um if anyone is looking for guidance or just wants to get started and doesn't know where you know we do different types of things in the boot camp we don't just do we don't just do um one certain type of training we do mm -hmm body weight, we do weight yeah. training, we do resistance training, we do HIIT workouts, we do cardio, we do it all. And right now we're doing everything virtually. So it's very easy to join. It's very easy to join, actually. And it's <laughs> Me too, Zeke. Me too. I heard I have to give up my wine. So I'm She's like, if I have to give up alcohol, I don't know. It's only alcohol for 21 days. Food. I need to work on that. <laughs> Yes, definitely, definitely. That's that's a good start. And like I said, it just starts with eliminating the foods that don't serve you, right. you know, and that's actually how you start getting more in tune with your body as well. Like that's what I had to do before I used to drink milk on a hot sunny day. I don't know why I was crazy. But I just like would <laughs> eat cheese, quesadillas, like all the Mexican food, all the good stuff, right. And then I was just so bloated and so tired and fatigued and just felt so terrible. And as soon as I started eliminating all those foods mm -hmm. and then just adding more vegetables, I stopped yeah. drinking. Well, not that I ever drink soda, but I stopped drinking soda, stopped drinking milk, everything, and literally just drank just water. <laughs> and you it, do feel good, too. Honestly. It made like, I went on a water kick, water and lemon, for mm -hmm. a while. Because like, I was doing kickboxing. I was doing the gym on the same day. I was drinking a lot of water with lemon. So I was like, I was killing it. And I like, and I felt good. I didn't just like mm -hmm. look good. I like, I felt good. And that's yes. more important is just 
feeling good about yourself and that's your body rewarding you your body's yes. like yes girl this is this exactly. is a good stuff and your body will tell you that's the thing your body right. will tell you what food is for you and what isn't sometimes exactly. we just don't listen to our body right so we shove that extra fry down and <laughs> it's like no no don't do that <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but definitely like like i said it's it's one of those things yes sir joe food is medicine and and mm -hmm. so the food that we eat does affect how we feel and even how we think right mm -hmm. so <clears throat> when i started eliminating all those food not only did i realize you know my whole stomach disappeared well not my whole stomach but you know the stubborn fat and yeah. all that stuff the bloating went down yeah, <laughs> yeah it yeah. went down not only that but i started feeling amazing i started getting clarity i was energized i felt it so motivated good. You. my amazing. skin was like clear like mm -hmm. everything was just so you know it was a transformation it was truly like an in to outer transformation and that's one of the things that i preach and and i kind of want to add a little bit to some of the things that i believe in with the boot camp right so yeah. i believe in working from the inside out mm -hmm. i also believe in um you know um overall strength so not just training the abs and not just the booty but also training the arms the back you know everything um i also believe in 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 turning our mind into from i can to i can right mm -hmm. so and then you know nutritional nutrition is a huge aspect of it and that's one thing that i can preach all day is mm -hmm. is nutrition is 80 percent of it you know the other 20 percent of it is the exercise so when you look at it like that you start seeing hey what's truly important exactly. what's truly yeah. important here yeah you got to balance it out everyone thinks if i'll just exercise and that'll make me feel better but yeah you have to have a, a good diet along with it yeah no yeah. definitely definitely it goes hand in hand and and when you start making those changes you know you look good and if you look good you eat you you know you feel good you just love the results yeah you love the results and and i think that that's how i started falling in love falling in love with it is i started feeling stronger you know i didn't just look good i started feeling stronger i started standing taller you know like mm -hmm. and i see this in a lot of people too is like sometimes we're to shut down and then when we start working out guess what these come back and then we look confident, confident. Yep. yes it's boost it's a boost of confidence it's a boost of energy it's a boost of health of all the good stuff <laughs> i love it um i don't want instagram to cut us off okay so i'm gonna wrap up but i thank you so much for joining me tonight i i've had a lot of, i've been looking forward to this and I love talking to you. I love your story. I just love your inspiration, your motivation. And I just um, keep killing it, girl. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for joining so much. Um, I, we appreciate your love and support. I hope you all have a happy new year. And, um, and whoever joined in late, the live will be saved to my page. So go come back anytime and watch it. I just want to give thanks to you. I'm super grateful um, that you asked me to do this because like oh, I said, sure. I probably wouldn't have before, you know, I was a little anxious about it. Um, yeah. I was a little bit fearful of putting myself out there of sharing my story, but it's definitely something that, you know, I just- It's very vulnerable to share your story, but I'm all about being brave. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Baby, be love, brave. I have to be I brave. So it. I want to help people be brave with me. So yes, thank and you, you did just brave. that and more. You definitely, um, you definitely sparked something in me that makes me want to be more brave and more courageous and just show the world so a little bit more about myself. You know. Yeah. So I'm and super thankful for you. Yes, yes. Oh, well, I love you. Thank you. I love you, you too. Um, and yes, Seek, we love you too. Um, love everyone that joined. Thank you all I love so, all of you so and much for your support. Wonderful night and a wonderful new year. Yes, likewise, everyone. Thank you all so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye.